Hey guys, it's Mathlo here once again with the final video for the Spectral Throw Buzzsaw Starter build. Uh, I wasn't really going to do another video, but I did end up taking on a few of the Ubers and figured I'd share that footage. Um, as well as uh, just f first couple minutes here, just going to be me farming away in uh, Crystal Ore and Dunes and a couple maps and stuff, because uh, I'm trying to do some of the challenges. So there's some challenges to do, you know, Domination, Covetous Shrine, kill a breach boss, kill a delirium boss, that sort of shit. So I was just doing some speed like maps with um, some domination on them, some shrines, and the shrine nodes are really quite powerful for um, juiced farming. And I uh, do recommend it if you've never tried them. They do feel very much like, you know, headhunter gameplay in the end, if um, that's what you're still missing in your life. But they are kind of RNG challenges, and it was pretty bullshit, and I still haven't finished one of them, so... It's been annoying, but uh, the character itself, Spectral Throw, has done really well for farming in general. Uh, character's almost level 96, I think, at this point, like 95 and a half. Uh, something like 4 million DPS on the POB, but obviously, uh, with Spectral Throw and Sniper's Mark the way it is, it's higher than that. And in total, you know, didn't spend that much on the character. Made plenty of my own gear, so there was crafting and all that, but the budget, which is you know, brought up many a time, is a few hundred C, right? And what you get in the end is a character that is about half as good damage-wise, I'd say, compared to the cold deck stack build that I had last league. Um, and then this league with the boot mod that is now out there for cold deck stacking, you can double your output on that type of build uh, thanks to the Sentinel boot mod that goes um, two to four extra cold damage per 10 decks. So it's the same as your weapon mod, and uh, that, yeah, it's kind of rare, kind of expensive, but it can double your output on that build, essentially. Meaning that if you did a proper cold deck stack version of that type, this type of build, uh, you could, yeah, 20 mil deeps by the looks of it, and that is quite a substantial amount more than this character and then that'll make taking on ubers quite a bit easier so with that said uh, i did end up taking on eater of worlds shaper maven and i tried cirrus uh it went you know okay basically you do have to be spell suppressed cap for these things i'd say and then obviously the more defense or the more damage you have the easier things are going to be but i was still learning the fights so this is my second try on eater of worlds this is my first try on shaper and then my first try on maven and i got wrecked by cirrus in the end but i think that could have been done too ultimately there is still a bit of practice needed for these fights and actually learning them trying them first try and you know just sucking is um, pretty normal, pretty par for the course, and I think you will get better as you practice them, and uh, I think I will too. Um, just over time, we'll be able to take shittier characters into it and get it done. But um, yeah, by the end of each fight, I was kind of starting to get in tune with the fights, and then with more and more attempts, you'd get better and better at it. So you get to see my learning process as opposed to just a nice, clean, deathless kill or some shit you'll get to see the mistakes and then hopefully the redemptions. Uh, so yeah, bit of a long video, but these are the uber attempts for this character. And uh, as you can see, I do take off the Spectre MTX just for visibility because uh, the MTX does kind of cover the screen. In, in any case, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Actually, just kidding. I need to add one more thing. Uh, I do just show... I don't know, maybe a quarter of the footage of this fight, because honestly, after you see the first few mechanics in one phase, it just ends up being a rinse and repeat, and it gets slightly more intense by the end of it. So I did cut out most of it, and uh, yeah, there's nothing too exciting happening. I do die a few times on this one, though, I think. And other than that, also wanted to mention about the other Ubers. Um, I'm pretty sure Cortex would have been easily doable. I do think Uber, Uber Elder would have been doable. Uh, and Searing Exarch and Cirrus were the ones that were kind of a question mark for this build. But I do think they were both going to be doable with enough attempts. Uh, yeah, and that'll do it. So, uh, wait. Is that all the Ubers? I don't know. Probably. Who cares? Anyway, enjoy. Thank you, guys. Okay. All the bosses fifty. Some had uh, seventy. Some had fifty. Oh, 
That was unfortunate to start with. God damn it. I'm not up to that just yet. Was my bad. I should have dashed, but I was running too much, too fast, and I couldn't control my movement. All right, I'm not off to a banger of a start, to be honest. Yeah, I gotta be dodging the balls too. Those stack up. Failure, ambivalence, death. Mm. That's going to be tough. Actually, placing those balls. Uh, I'm struggling to dodge purple ball players while caring about the floaty balls as well. I need to actually place those. Well, I think that's gonna hurt a fucking lot when I've got no regen. Walking over the DJ ground on the other character felt really bad. Behold the face of your unmaking. Father, it's me. Let me have Come on, boys. I'm not up to that just yet. I agree with Matt Ford. Drop those balls through. Well. Gaze into the abyss. Kinda of bad. The end of the world bad. Dude, I don't get to dash sometimes thanks to Withering Step, but it is fucking me a bit.
that not the next phase yet? Oh, fuck, dude. That has to be the next phase by now, right? Failure, ambivalence, death. A Invisible shape of him. He was so close to being pushed from earlier. Ugh. These memories are mine. I cannot lose them. They lie to you, father. I'm your true memory. To save the future, the past must be sacrificed. My mana is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Embraced by failure. Dude, he's willing call range as well. A final I better be able to get back into this. Easy clap. Irrelevant. All right. I mean, not bad for a first go on this fucking fight with this with character. Woot woot. Let's see, man. Thanks for four months. We could obviously do that better. You can see I kind of started to figure out the pattern for dodging the balls in the end on this character. Anyway, you know, doing a little few side steps, little dash, little dash. Not bad. before instantly dead and sad dead and sad sad and dead here it comes he goes holding up fairly well do those balls showing up hit you but yeah cascade of pain to dodge from the fucking top is so hard To that just yet. Do I say take this? Mine. What's mine? Oh god. Pain will be returned tenfold. I mean I've got a location. Drop balls. And I'm just gonna have to deal with it. This phase is the least of my troubles, by far. I will have what I want. This will my mana is gone. Scurry, scurry. 
How does this work? Okay, so the bosses stay up, eh? Up. Next time I have to actually tunnel the bosses for a bit. The other ones, because um, without tunneling them at all, I could not place those balls anywhere else. Pretty bad, dude. The recovery from this is going to be. Um, a challenge is the word I would use. I've pretty much run out of places to drop these balls without, without overlapping. happening. Yeah, I was taking a ball load of damage from something there still. And it threw me super off. Stuff, but the last phase is going to be such a fucking mess now. And I'm gonna have to do like three memory games or something. And I don't think I don't think I can dodge the attacks well enough anymore. With, with everything going on. Death 
I'm not up to that just yet. Yay, five memory game conditions. <laughs> Wake and melee fizz, not bad. Oh man, actually would have been deathless if not for that first stupid death. I was getting in tune with it, basically. Such a fucking mess, dude. Feel the thrill of the void. Ah, I got into a bad position and then, like, panic dodged into a bad fucking direction. The arena is such a fucking mess right now. even allowed to fight anymore. I'm not. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. I could get it with a cleaner, you know, a fresh attempt, but it's still gonna be kind of RNG, you know. Okay, dude. I couldn't like approach not knowing where I was going to be approaching from. So I had to take it real kind of slow. And then, yeah. Just unlucky that his next attack is going to be a die. Because you can't get away from that. I mean, I fucked up a couple things. Like, yet. the start is, I think you really do have to wait for him to come back down. Fighting up there is... It's wrong. I think it does make for a messier last phase. But otherwise, um... Just, just dying, fucking it up, makes it harder. And then, yeah. I think it's doable, though. I just don't think I could try again. 